Aaron Donald announced his retirement from the NFL on Friday. Here's a look at some of those career accolades. Unbelievable what this guy was able to do. Yes, you see it at the top of the screen. A Super Bowl champion, 10 years, 10 Pro Bowls, eight first time all pros and three defensive players of the year. That is complete dominance when he was out there on the field. Didn't take him a little while to get going. As soon as he stepped foot in that building, he was a difference maker and he rose everybody's level of competition around him. Aaron Donald is the type of player you want in your organization. We wanted to pay tribute and talk about him, a future first ballot Hall of Famer. So we're going to look back at some of the five top five memorable moments of Aaron Donald's career. All right, let's get right to number five. And this is a cool play for me because I'm going to give it a little background. Over the weekend, my wife was gone, so it was just me and the kids. And every parent knows that sometimes you're hanging out in the room next door. Your kids don't know you're listening. My son, he says something really mean to his older sister. <laughs> next thing you know, I'm come around the corner, and the look on his face when he saw me, it was like, oh, my, dad's coming, and he was terrified. For that, I want you guys to listen to Geno Smith and this play, number five of Aaron. Donald's best place. Listen here. On third down, Smith. Pressure comes late and it's incomplete. That pressure coming mm. from Aaron Donald. Oh my God! <laughs> Geno Smith back there in the pocket. Next thing he knows, big 99 is barreling down on him, and he gets rid of the ball in a split second to avoid being hit. This is the first game of two matchups last season. The game that came after that, well, Aaron Donald would get to Geno Smith, and he would knock him out of that game, and Drew Locke would have to finish. Everybody always knew where 99 was on the field, because if you didn't, it was a surprise that you did not want to see. All right, that is play number five. Let's get to number four, Aaron Donald's three-sack game on Monday Night Football against the Arizona Cardinals. Aaron Donald all over the place, and that's Kyler Murray back there. This is the first play of the second quarter. Just shoves the offensive lineman right into Kyler Murray, and I feel like Aaron Donald was one of those guys where during the week you're asked about him. You say, you know what? I want to play against the best. I want to show that I can go out there and compete. No, you don't. We're just pretending that we want to play against Aaron Donald. We would much rather him not be out there. This is my favorite. This is the last play of the game. He's hanging out saying, you know what? Von Miller's going to get the sack. <laughs> Doesn't cool. happen. He goes and gets it himself. Kyler Murray's look, look at the look on his face. Can somebody please block this guy? Kyler Murray took to Twitter after he saw the news of Aaron Donald. Of course, well, he was probably sad to go against the best. No, it was, thank God, yeah. I'm tired of playing against this guy. I'm tired of running for my life against this guy. Kyler is not pretending. This is how everybody felt playing against Aaron Donald. That's the impact that he had on the career of the guys on the opposite team. Forget about his own teammates. You get tired of playing. Must have been like MJ back in the 90s. You just get tired of watching this guy win. And that was Aaron Donald. For play number three, we got to talk about career type of performances where you show up and it's just everything's going your way. A four sack game right here for Aaron Donald. This is back in 2018 against the 49ers. He is all over the place. I remember playing against him in the Super Bowl and that week, Bill talking to the entire team and he would point to Aaron Donald. He goes, this guy, he will single-handedly just wreck the game if we don't block him. We would double team him. If we weren't double team him, Brady knew, get the ball out as fast as you possibly it's can. So violent. Also. So violent. Him and Adama Kinsu were on the same oh team. God. It just makes no sense. Four sacks in his game. He also ripped the ball from somebody and took it in a forced, forced fumble and recovered it. But that wasn't his only four sack game. Another of one? course, a guy like Aaron Donald, he had another four sack game. He did it again in 2020 oh. against Washington. Watch out, Aaron Donald is coming through. This was Alex Smith's first game coming back off that horrific injury, and he got a chance to get out there. Aaron Donald said, Let me let me introduce myself. Oh my God. I'm just gonna <laughs> jump on your back and welcome you back to the NFL after all that hard work you put in to be back out here on the field. And that was Aaron Donald. Look at the jump he takes. A tremendous athlete, but so violent and so physical, as you saw right there, the jump getting around McVay just in awe of this guy. As he look at this, just watching driving people back into the quarterback. Aaron Donald, just such a special, special athlete. In 2018, he was set the record for all-time sacks, 20 and a half for a defensive tackle, surpassing Keith Millard. All right, number two. 
It's one thing to make these plays in the regular season. It's another to make them in the playoffs. Let's go to the 2021 NFC Championship game. The Rams are leading by three. It's late in the fourth quarter. The 49ers, they have one chance to come back. Jimmy has the ball. Aaron Donald is going to help seal this one. Take a listen. Joe Buck on the call. Garoppolo under pressure. Donald got there in the air, intercepted by the Rams, and they may ride to the Super Bowl on that. And that they did. They may ride to the Super Bowl. Aaron Donald coming off. Jimmy G trying to make a play. Intercepted as he just flings it up right after Aaron Donald makes this play. He's looking and he's letting them know, I am going to get that ring. Going back to the Super Bowl to correct what happened in the 2018 Super Bowl 53 where they fell short. Aaron Donald would get another opportunity to get there. All right, on the biggest stage, what do you think this guy is going to do in the Super Bowl to make sure it doesn't happen again? Aaron Donald in this Super Bowl, it comes down to it. Super Bowl 56 is fourth and one. The Bengals have the ball. Rams, again, leading by just three points. Joe Burrow, look for Jamar Chase. He has to be open somewhere. Can he get him the ball? Watch and take a listen. Rams rush four. Burrow to throw for it. He's hit. He flings it away on fourth down. Aaron Donald got there. Yes! Yes! I knew it! I knew he would make a play! And you can build that man's statue out SoFi Stadium right now. Rings for the Rams! Rings for the Rams to build up to that play. Sean McVay walking, pacing down the sideline, talking on the headset. He says, Aaron Donald is going to make a play here. Aaron Donald is going to win us the game. And that he did. Jamar Chase was open down the sideline. Joe Burrow did not have a chance. Aaron Donald coming up big back-to-back -back games. And of course, he said it. Ring me, ring me. And that they did. They got Aaron Donald his ring as he beats Quentin Spain right there to earn that ring and be able to don it. Look at that thing. That right there is a ring ceremony, one to be celebrated, and Aaron Donald did it. These are the top five moments in the Aaron Donald's career that we wanted to peg and point out to you guys. Plays a plenty. Guys, Peter, what do you think? I, I talked to McVay over the weekend. It's like th there's no greater player he could ever possibly have been matched with, especially as a young coach coming into the league. Donald was always there, always in the facility, first one there, last one to leave, great in the community, all that stuff. To me, the great unknown is, what if we got Aaron Donald the rock on offense? And you're like, wait, what? <laughs> there are two fumble recoveries that Aaron Donald has had in his NFL career. Yeah. He took in the ball as a carry. This is the first one going back all the way to 2015 in St. Louis. Okay, look, Aaron Donald gets the ball. Look how nimble and scary he oh. is as a ball carrier. <laughs> if this guy ever got the ball on the goal line, like what could we have done with him? And then he had a second one and a couple years ago, and we got rid of the, the, the part at the end where he's having fisticuffs on the sideline, but <laughs> this is him Smart. against the, the Seahawks. Watch Donald take the ball here, and look at what he does. He just seeks out contact, and then he's like, okay, this is my moment. A little stutter step, and he's like, I'm going. Oh my god! And it looks like he could be an actual running back, too, if they need it to be. I also go back, this is before McVay even got there. There was a rainy game, I think and it was in 2016, Jeff Fisher coach team, and it was in Tampa and they had a delay. And I remember the defensive coordinator put Aaron Donald at outside linebacker mm. that game. So he played OLB at 320 pounds, or whatever Aaron Donald was playing at. One of the most freakish athletes. And when that athleticism matches the preparation and the work and the leadership, yes. you get a player who made eight first team all pros in 10 seasons. Unbelievable. He is. What a clip. I'm excited about his prospects. I feel like retiring at this peak of the game. Mm. You're like, man, what, what do you have up your sleeve? But for him to have Super Bowl and for him to, God, the athleticism, it was so fun to watch him. I'm kind of sad we'll be without him, but he made a mark. He definitely made a mark. Kyle, I know you saw a lot of Aaron Donald throughout his career. What are your thoughts on those five plays? Are Aaron Donald running with the ball? I just want to talk about Aaron Donald for three hours. This is so fun. I love the end of the top five. I love Peter went to our staff and said, give me the video of him recovering fumbles. It's perfect. It's exactly what we should talk about with Aaron Donald. Remember when he was training with knives? That's my memory. Yep. Well, there's this video, we didn't even have it, of his trainer was like, 
I don't know, basically like trying to stab him or mug him or something. He would be like, and we're like, this is when the folk hero factor of him is taking off. This is Aaron Donald's if Bo Jackson played defensive tackle. Like that is the, that is the comp right now. And I'll tell you, the only the only top five memory that I think you were missing, Jason, is mine. It would be on my list. I told you guys this story. Last summer, I bring my daughter to Disneyland in Anaheim. We're walking past the small world, and Aaron Donald comes walking the other way with a Rams hat hat on and a sleeveless blue shirt. And I'm holding popcorn, and I got backpacks, and I got my ears on and everything. And I go, oh, hey, what's up, Aaron? And he pulls me into this like, this like hand slap thing where all of a sudden I'm (laughs) pulled into his chest and his big arm is behind me. And I felt like I was, a center or a guard and he just went hey man what's up bam and he was gone and i got one little taste right there in the magic kingdom of the aaron donald magic maybe like the greatest athlete we've seen at that position it's megatron at defensive tackle it's awesome i want the knife footage i love the fumble recovery footage jason you could do the top 500 aaron donald moments and i'd be here for it yeah